Hey, welcome to Constraint Logic Programming over Finite Domains uh, for the uh, for the Advanced Prologue class. Is it true that a value is always either completely known or completely unknown? Well, let's think about a value. How about my mother's height? Uh, probably nobody here knows my mother's height. Um, but we know some things about it. Uh, what do we know about it? Well, the tallest person uh, ever was 274 centimeters tall, and the shortest person is uh, 53 centimeters tall. So my mom's probably between those two values. Furthermore, in the EU, they we round to the nearest centimeter, and so that's got to be my mom's, um, the bounds on my mom's height. So while we don't know the value, we at least can place it in a domain. Now I'll tell you a little more. Uh, dad was taller than mom, and mom was 100 uh, and dad was 172 centimeters tall now you know that mom has to be shorter than 172 centimeters we've constrained the domain further hey so now uh we're going to work a little problem uh, i'm going to start by showing you a uh, a playing with prologue video and uh and uh, then I'll point you toward the um, Swish page where uh, this video's uh, solved and uh, this video's problem is solved. And then um, I'm going to have you extend it. Hey, Sam, quick, we got to help Susie. Huh? Who's Susie? So Susie's in high school and today's enrollment. Um, she has a dreamy new boyfriend. Nathan and she wants to be able to flirt with him in classes but she doesn't want to do it when her old ex-boyfriend John is around now there are six class periods during the day and each student has to take uh, six different classes in those six periods we need to help Susie She's got to be able to flirt with Nathan at least, oh my God, three hours a day. But otherwise, she'll never find true love. So quick, use your prologue powers. This is a job for constraint programming. Like always, provide comments. Set up the rules for the, of the problem. Each student goes to school for six periods, during which they must be in one of the classes numbered one through six, and they can't take the same class twice. Susie wants to flirt in three periods, and they have to be classes. We could use all different, but we also don't want different solutions where we report Susie can flirt in periods one, three, and four, and then one, four, three, for example, and all the other permutations. So we're going to enforce order. Defining a period where she can flirt seems complex. I'll hand that off to a predicate. That we will need the free schedules and the flirt period. Now that we've constrained everything, usually we would want the labeling in a different predicate, but here, we can just find a labeling. But what about flirty period? Oh yes, pick a class to be the class that Susie flirts in. Note, this is the class, not the period. Make a different class for John to be in. Find a period when Susie is in that class. Enforce Nathan being in that class, that period, so Susie can flirt with him. And make sure John is in a different class then. I have John's and Nathan's schedules. And now we can save Susie. Susie has lots of options. Oh, Sam, you saved Susie. Oh, gosh, Annie. It was easy. 
I have prologue power. You can get prologue power too. Subscribe and like when to be informed when we put out a new prologue video. That little playing with prologue episode uh, that I recorded a while back with Sam has saved Susie. Now Susie's back and you're going to need to help Susie. Susie doesn't like Haley. Haley's mean. And Haley's going to get that little snot Susie. So we have to save Susie. Okay. Well, how can we do that? Well, Tasha says that Kayla says that Christine is going to be in the first three classes with Haley all morning and Christine has shown uh, Susie her schedule so we know Su Christine's schedule 351246 now I'm going to ask you to help save uh, Susie from Haley uh, let's think about it obviously we want to avoid three five and one as the first three classes but can is that all we can do well, it turns out we can do a bit more. Um, what do we know about Haley's schedule? Well, we know it's 3, 5, 1, but then we know that the other three classes must be 2, 4, and 6 in some order. So why don't we avoid the entire set 2, 4, and 6 for all of the afternoon? Uh, which is the same as constraining 2, 4, and 6 to be the morning classes. So now, uh, stop the video and uh, work that, and then come back and continue. Hi, welcome back, and uh, I assume you've done the exercise, and now um, uh, Susie's happily uh, uh, avoiding Haley, except she's been thinking, and you know, what if Tasha's lying? That Tasha's devious bitch and she just might be lying but she might be my friend so okay so now go back take your solution and account for the fact that Tasha might be lying now if Tasha's lying we know Christine's schedule but that probably means that she tried to get us in as many classes with Haley as possible, which probably means that Haley's schedule is like 246 in the morning and 351 in the afternoon. So uh, go ahead and account for that possibility and try to. Uh, Make certain that even if you don't know whether Christine um, or whether uh, Tasha is lying, uh, then you can still um, uh, keep Susie as safe as possible. And to do that, you're going to have to use reification. So good luck doing that, and I'll see you back in, on Slack and in class. Bye-bye.